David. Doing a When we arrived to the catering company's restaurant, we were directed to a back room that was set up for us to do the tasting. It was nice to have a private space that we could go back to and be able to talk amongst ourselves. We spent a lot of time debating the food and so it was a nice area that we could go to. First, we tried the house salad, which was very light and the Caesar salad was a little bit heavier but still good, but we really, really liked the house salad. It had a very nice dressing and just tasted really good. Unfortunately, I didn't start filming until after we tried the walleye, the garlic mashed potatoes, and the green bean almondine, but I do show a little bit at the end, and they were all pretty good. We were pretty happy and satisfied with that meal. The next meal that came out was this is your chicken, and then it has your white sauce with mushroom. This is amazing. To finish off the tasting, we talked with the catering coordinator about all of our decisions regarding the food and other things like napkin colors, tablecloth colors, and all of those specific things that would relate to the catering company. So again, we were pretty disappointed that we only had two or three options, but it actually became clear at the end why that was. So it's pretty typical that at most weddings, you only get to have two options. And typically that's like a chicken or some kind of other thing. And then usually you get some kind of starch, vegetable, and a salad. I didn't realize that the starch, vegetable, and salad were actually going to be the same for every single plate. It just wasn't very clear to me. I guess I was thinking we would maybe do like the fish with one starch, one vegetable, and then the chicken with one starch, one vegetable. That would be different. But it was the same. So I guess it makes sense for why they did that, but it was just kind of disappointing that you only got to choose a couple options to try especially because we could have liked something more but we didn't get to try it so we'll never know so let's talk about each of the different items that we tried first off the thing we did not like the most was the mixed vegetables Weston actually says in the video that uh, they looked like they had just come out of a steamer bag which I agreed they didn't seem very elegant and nice which is kind of what you're going for in a wedding and yeah we were we were just not very happy with that option and then we really loved the idea of having walleye just again as something kind of more Minnesotan to try and unfortunately which is sad because they only cooked one it wasn't super flavorful I, it was still good, um, but it could have been more flavorful, and so that makes us worried because obviously when they have to cook over a hundred, what is that going to taste like if the one that they cooked for our, like specially for our tasting was not very flavorful. So um, we're a little bit worried about that, but you know, we have to stick to our guns and we're just gonna go with the walleye because we liked it and we, want to have that kind of more Minnesotan dish to go with our up north Minnesota wedding theme. And this was actually the same for the champagne chicken as well. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't something that blew us out of the water either. But again, to me, the food doesn't really matter, as I've said in past videos. So, I mean, 
I guess it's not that big of a deal, but it is just kind of disappointing that the one that they had to cook wasn't, again, wasn't just very flavorful and exciting. So when they cook a hundred, we'll see how that tastes, but oh well, it's not a big deal. It's one meal and we'll get over it. And then for the other entree, I personally did not like the ravioli. It was this weird, like peppery, spicy flavor. And I was very unhappy that it seemed like that was the only vegetarian option and they actually make their meat sauce or their sauce out of meat and so I was just kind of disappointed they said they could use that to accommodate different dietary needs but we actually ended up going with something else so you only get to choose two entrees you don't get to choose like a third to be the vegetarian but you can let them know if you need a vegetarian or other other option like a vegan or um, like gluten-free or something like that so they do offer that as an option but that would only be for a small number of people so the ravioli I guess didn't really matter because we didn't understand that you couldn't have that anyways we chose a different dish that Weston's mom had actually tried the previous time that we had visited there so I guess it worked out that uh, we didn't like the ravioli, but we got to try it and figure out if we wanted that to be our vegetarian side dish. But our most favorite food that we tried was the garlic mashed potatoes. And honestly, they were amazing. They were so delicious, so creamy, and they were just really, really good. I'm very, very happy with those. So the food that we went with, uh, just to reiterate, was the walleye the champagne chicken, the house salad, and then the two entrees are going to come with garlic mashed potatoes and green bean almondine. And we are pretty excited. Overall, the experience was fun. It was a nice time to get everybody together. My mom and sister went, and then Weston's mom and dad went. And it was just a really nice time, especially for having Weston's mom and dad there. They are paying for the Food and the drinks and so it was a nice time for them to kind of get a better idea of what that cost will look like and um, just kind of talk through some of those logistic things so that was really nice and just getting together trying some good food and yeah it was a nice experience for everybody again I'm not too sure what their foods gonna taste like when they have to make over a hundred which is disappointing because you do pay a lot but I think it will all be good and I'm really happy I got to check that off of my to-do list and can now focus on other things. I can get my invitations out and yeah, all that stuff will be good and I'm done with the tasting, so I'm super happy about that. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. Bye guys!